What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist, it's Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel, coming to you with another edition of Ladies, Leans, Likes, and Locks. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Goes a long way for me on this video. Goes a long way for you. You become a prize whenever great betting content is going live here at our little neck of the YouTube woods. Uh, waiting on one assist. One assist from Demonis Sabonis to get that triple-double. Ended up having it on the betting card after all. That was fun stuff. If you would like to sign up for that, sign up for that in the video description box below. You use promo code LINDY, get 50% off that first week. It's great stuff. Everybody's having fun. We're winning money. That's usually the point. That's what I'm trying to do with these videos and, you know, the premium Discord and all the things. And speaking of free money, bet $365. Bet $1, get $365 in bet credits now. Not free. You get it when you put $1 in. There you go. And then you deposit $10. So you deposit $10. Bet one, get $365 in bet credits. That's only available in four states, and I know that's a bummer. We have other great deals going on in that description box below. Look at those anytime. We have like FanDuel stuff that pops up from time to time. We have Caesars that pops up from time to time. So many great things. Sign up for that below, but it's Colorado, New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia. Those are the four. Those are the four. You'll want to be signing up for that right now over at Bet365 because it's NCAA tournament time. I know a lot of you are looking forward to that on Thursday. We got Ben Raza, Matt Kajewski on the Odd Chopper channel doing great content, giving you everything you need to know on the NCAA tournament because God knows I have no chance to be able to cover any of that because it is all NBA all the time and PGA. And then MLB's coming up here in two weeks. I'm actually going to spring training in Arizona this weekend. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to kicking it, watching a little baseball and getting in the mood. Oh, yeah. Getting in the mood. I'll never do that again. Uh, five games. Five games we have. I'll never do that again. Five games we have. Looking very much forward to this slate. I got some plays for you. Although, we're waiting on a couple of lines, a couple of things. But I'm going to give you the great analysis you're known and accustomed to. We're going to lean. We're going to like. We're going to lock. Let's get to the picks. We get the day started with Nuggets and Pistons. And question on everyone's mind. What in the world is going on with Denver? Losers of four straight. Losers. No defense being played whatsoever. They have terrible things happening. Nobody's playing well. Our pets' heads are falling off. You know what cures everything, though? A date with the uh, Detroit. Yeah, date with Detroit. See, that's alliteration. Who are 28th in adjusted net rating, 28th in adjusted defensive rating, and most importantly, when you can't stop anybody, 27th in adjusted offensive rating. Now, the Pistons do get Jaden Ivey back from health and safety protocols, so they won't be as offensively defunct as normal still be pretty bad don't expect too much with the other pieces there because uh <clears throat> the pieces that are out bogdanovich our lord and savior isaiah livers marvin bagley the third isaiah stewart hamadou diallo alec burks i feel like every time we do detroit i have to list these names off and there's just too many of them so just assume that a lot of bad people are playing now i know i know Nikola Jokic, not triple doubling every single time it was a funny bit for a while <laughs> lock and I'm sure I'm going to talk myself into some sort of coin on that play again, but I think there's a better one here. I'm interested in backing Denver at 11 and a half. I'd be shocked. And I mean shocked if this number didn't move to 13 and a half, 14, because again, that's where I have it projected. It would be efficient at that point, but 11 and a half, that's where we're going to open this line at bet. Now, listen to me again. I'm not going to lock it because I don't want to put more than unit. It's just a unit, just a standard play. 11 and a half. We like it. Detroit is still worse than projected here. I expect this line to be moving, but also let's be dead serious. I'm definitely going to be betting Nikola Jokic to triple double because I am just that guy. And he's that guy. That's all. That's it. We're done. Next up, we have the Kings on the tail end of a back to back playing the Brooklyn McCall Bridges. Can we start calling him? The Brooklyn Bridges. I feel like that's a great nickname. I just came up with it now. Why haven't I heard that yet? I watch a lot of Nets games. Announcers, get on it. It's the Brooklyn Bridges. Producer Alicia likes it. That's all that matters. But Sacramento, we love Sabonis right now in this household as well. And assuming everyone's in on this back-to-back -back for the Kings, I will like him again on Thursday. Probably looking at that triple-double situation. The man's just putting up stat lines that are way too good to be getting 4-1. to one. Yes, plus 410 was the prevailing number over on DK to triple-double. That's what we saw Wednesday. So just run it back if you're getting the same thing when this line drops again. Lovely stuff. And while we have no line here yet, we know the Bridges points prop 
will be dropping in that 25 and a half to 26 and a half range more than likely, which if I liked against the Oklahoma City Thunder in an up pace matchup, I'm going to like it here against an equally up in pace matchup against the Kings. Usage, opportunity, the ability. Cal Bridges might be that dude. And I did joke around a little bit on Twitter when I said that they traded Kevin Durant, Brooklyn traded Kevin Durant, and they got a younger, healthier Kevin Durant. But his offensive game, starting to match his defensive game, and that is scary for the rest of the league. So yes, another prop to keep an eye on. Uh, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. It's not Christmas story, sorry. But no prop here yet. No prop whatsoever from either side, so we're forced to look at outrights, and I'm not all that enthused about them. If forced to lean on anything that I see right now, I'll go the Nets money line. They're not the ones on a back-to-back, -back, but it's kind of priced in, so we don't really want to bet that. We want to bet props here. Give me the props. Show me the props, Cherry. Let's go. You guys want winners? I'll show you a winner. It is this deal we have going with Bet365 right now. It is available in four states, and congratulations if you live in one of the four. Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, Ohio. I repeat, Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, Ohio. I had to think about it again, but you bet $1. You get 365 in bonus bonus. 365 in bonus bets right now when you sign up in the video description box below click on the link deposit ten dollars or more and bet one dollar just one dollar and as soon as that bet goes live you're gonna get 365 dollars in bonus bets that is such a ridiculous deal that there's really nothing else i can tell you it is an automatic w so you want to guarantee yourself a win on thursday no matter what happens in the nba in the ncaa tournament it is taking advantage of this promotion right now books are just giving money handing out money for you to try it out so go bet go bet a dollar yeah go try it out for a dollar get a 365 dollar return right now in bonus bets over at bet 365 again colorado new jersey virginia ohio those are the four beautiful things sign up in the video description box below right now it's if you're 21 and over and if you have a gambling problem please call 1-800-GAMBLER back to the picks baby we go north of the border to toronto hey hello friend Oh, it's very nice here with the snowshoes. I, my feet are nice and nice and warm in these uh, Sheboygans. I don't know what's Sheboygan. I don't, I'm not even sure, but whatever. We're talking OKC in Toronto, and wow to OKC. What a year. Emphatic W against the Nets the other night. Oopsie, bet against them, but either way. This team is smack dab in the middle of the West at 34 and 35. A far cry from what was expected by anybody going into this season when they had Chet Holmgren's injury before it season started the pre-notion that they'd be tanking on the daily for victor one Banyama. don't know they still have a chance of victor one but they have a million first round picks 100 million first round picks but with sga and giddy's acceleration plus wing jalen williams yes the wing version not the center version he's an absolute stud jalen williams a-l-e-n they've got it going on there in okc and i will say this Toronto team is one that I've already bet in the outright market because, again, I think defensively, they have some pieces. The pickup of Pirtle, I really like. OG Ananobi, can't believe how good of a defender he is, and now his offensive game started to come together. Scotty Barnes, we've known since his rookie year, last year. He's just absolutely had it going on on both ends of the floor. Pretty interested to see Toronto long-term, but I'm getting six and a half with OKC here. Six and a half. It's too many. We know they're not tanking. We know they get SGA back here. And SGA can go out and win you basketball games. I thought about the money line here. I thought about it. But I think the more conservative play, and everybody asks me, what's the conservative play? Plus six and a half. You give me a good team facing another good team. And yes, I look at these both as pretty good teams in their current constructions. I'll take the one getting six and a half almost every single time. I have this closer to four. Yeah, closer to four. So Toronto, favorites to win the game. No doubt about it. But there's a value in the money line, and there's especially value plus six and a half. Piece that together for tomorrow. We've covered three games, and all of them have been plays on teams, which is not the norm for me. If you watch this, generally very prop centric. We don't have a ton of props available as of right now. We do have some coming up. My lock coming up in the last game. Don't go anywhere, but we got to talk about this one. We have the Pacers, we have the Bucks, and there is an immense amount of injury news pending here. 14 point favorites we're looking at 14 point favorites one of the biggest lines of the entire season but why well rapidly tyrese halliburton questionable shout out iowa state number six 
make a run, please. Go alma mater. Miles Turner, questionable. He's very good at basketball. That matters. Buddy Heald, questionable. But they just decide to punt this game of play with a bunch of nobodies. That's the thing they can do. They have TJ McConnell, questionable. He's been nuking a lot of slates. Pretty good little basketball player in his own right. Good backup point guard. But Milwaukee, <gasps> Brooke Lopez, questionable. That's it. If Giannis Antetokounmpo, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton all in. Yeah, that's a problem. It, it, that's a big, big problem if you're sitting there. Grayson Allen's going to be out too if anybody gives a shit. I don't think you do, though. I'm just saying, Bucks, they should be favored. They're massive favorites. And I'm saying money line because they're minus 1,200. And if they actually lose this for all you parlay people, maybe stop betting for the week. Actually, stop betting forever. Because again, Milwaukee, if they lose to a team without Tyrese Halliburton, without Miles Turner, without those guys, that would be problematic. But if they're in... There might be value in plus 14. So again, I don't want to hear anything. That is why leans, likes, and locks exist. Leans mean I haven't bet it yet. I'm thinking about it. I have a lean. That's why it's called a lean. A like. Usually bet those and then you either wait that the line would move in your favor or you don't. And a lock, I've already bet. Otherwise, I'd be a terrible person. So there you go. Those are the, that's the scale. Just wanted to repeat it because again, I have nothing further to add. Milwaukee's going to smash their faces in if those dudes are out. So there you go. Enjoy. But like, why add this to a parlay? Stupid stuff. Last game of the night, though, we have a lock. This will be fun. We have the Kevin Durantless Suns hosting the Orlando Magic in the nightcap. Only night going on in the evening session, 10 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Feel like sometimes you just want to kick back after work, lay down there, fire up the old DraftKings FanDuel single game parlays, put something together, and I got something for you here. Because, again, the Orlando Magic... They've been a team we've been backing quite a bit, and seven and a half seems like the prevailing number everywhere. Looks pretty efficient to me. Makes a lot of sense because they've been healthy. Gary Harris is the only guy who's questionable for this one. I really don't care if Gary Harris plays basketball or not. It doesn't change a damn thing for me. Kevin Durant being out definitely changes things for books. There's no doubt about that. Hopefully he can get back before the end of the season so they have some type of chemistry going into the postseason. But his absence is Devin Booker's gain in terms of usage and offensive profile without... Kevin Durant, and now the going completely nuclear in Brooklyn. Macau Bridges off the floor this year. We're looking at a 33.5% usage rate for Devin Booker. That is a hefty number. He also, it's not just the fact that he's over 33% usage. It has to do with the fact that he has a 60%, 60% true shooting percentage on the year. Did you know that is good? If you didn't, now you do. 60%, that's like the threshold. Like, I think you're, you're good at this. You're good at the shooting of the basketballs. And he shouldn't get a lot more with those guys off the floor because he's sharing a floor with, I don't know, Chris Paul, who can only pass the ball at this point in time, might be looking at an assist prop. Josh Kogi, who apparently can play basketball. I hate him. Minnesota Timberwolves. Didn't work out for us. Torrey Craig. I'm old Craig. Nice to meet you. It's a YouTube video. It's not worth it. You don't need to watch it. But what you need to do is you need to lock in Devin Booker to score 30 plus. Again, for all you single game parlay people, I'm looking right now, 30 and a half is kind of the prevailing number that exists, but I'm going to take it down tiny little peg because again, 30 plus Devin Booker, I'm projecting him for around 33. Not crazy good when you're getting like minus 125, but I think this is a nice piece. Again, it's a five game slate, not a ton of places that I'm in love with. This isn't even something that's beyond just a little bit over a unit, but Devin Booker, 30 plus against the Orlando Magic, absolutely happening absolutely your lock for Thursday. And that does it for another edition of Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. Go to that comment section below. Let me know your favorite plays. Check out Bet365 if you're in Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, and Ohio. Those are the four. Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, Ohio. I said them in the same order twice. That was great by me. Heavens be and the saints be praised. Let's get the hell out of here. We got the NCAA tournament. Check out all those great offerings, but get that 365 in bet credits over at Bet365 because why the heck not. All right, y'all. I'll be back for Friday's slate. Until then, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the NBA streets on Thursday.